Hi, I'm Brian Hayes, and this is Automation of the Week. Every Tuesday, we create a new video that shows you step-by-step -step how to create an automation in Salesforce to improve your processes. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to automatically update the contact owner for all contacts related to an account whenever you update the account's owner. Now, you may have noticed some functionality in Salesforce that can be a bit frustrating in the beginning uh, for somebody that's not used to it. When you're looking at an account record, if you go to change the owner of the account, it will update the owner of the contacts in that account as well, but not necessarily all of them. So for example here, David Rose is the owner of the account Blouse Barn. And so if I click on the change owner button, I could say road of support is gonna be the new owner of the account. And right down here, it says that the contacts in that account are going to be owned by road of support as well, but not actually all of them. So you can see down here that it will update the contacts ownership, but only for those contacts that have the same owner as the account owner. So this can be pretty frustrating if you've got a lot of people working within Salesforce, creating different contact records, you've got a lot of default owners. When you have a territory change or something and you wanna update the account ownership to somebody else, you're likely gonna have a few contacts that were owned by somebody else that didn't get transferred to that new owner. So we can work around this though by creating a flow. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. So what we'll do is go into the setup area and search for flows and we'll create a record triggered flow that's gonna update all of the contacts related to that account uh, when that account ownership changes. So click new flow, this will be record triggered. The object that we want to have trigger this will be the account. And we only need this to happen when that record is updated. And now let's set some entry criteria. So under conditions, choose owner ID, that's the owner of the account. And instead of equals, change that to is changed and for the value set true. So what we're saying here is whenever that owner ID of an account is changed, we want this flow to run. If you scroll down a little bit, you can see here that we wanna optimize this flow for actions and related records, because we're gonna be updating a bunch of contacts that are related to the account, not the account itself. Click done, then hit the plus button and search for the update action. We can call this update contacts, and then we'll choose the fourth option here to specify the conditions to identify the records that we wanna update automatically. So for the object, we wanna update contacts, search for contact here. For our filter criteria here, Search for account first. We want the contacts whose account ID is equal to the account that triggered our flow. So look for that global variable record and then look for the ID of that account record. So this is saying, give me all contacts whose account ID is equal to the account ID that started this process. But let's do one other thing. Let's add another uh, bit of criteria here. And this will be the current owner. So we don't need to update the contacts if they're already owned by our new owner. That would just be a waste. So we'll add that as a filter here too. So if the owner ID of the contact is not equal to the current owner of our account, then we won't bother updating it because it's already owned by the person who we want to own it. So again, go to that global variable for record. And this time, put in the owner ID value. So give me all contacts who are related to my account, whose owner is not the account owner. And then when it says set field values for the contact records, this is where we'll set the owner ID to the owner of our account. So this is the update and hit done. Go ahead and give it a name and click save. And then we can debug this and test it out. So let's debug this with our Blouse Barn account. If we look at related here, it's currently owned by David Rose. And if we look at some of these related contacts, we can see that Tina Hello is owned by Road of Support. But it looks like Wendy Kurtz is owned by David Rose and Barry Kurtz is owned by David Rose. So what we're gonna do is change the ownership from David Rose to B2BMA integration. So a different user in the system. And we'll see if the contact owner of Tina Hello stays Road of Support or if it gets updated to be owned by B2BMA integration as well. So for our triggering record here, go and choose Blouse Barn. You can then check the box to skip the start condition requirements and then click run. And so we didn't actually change the owner in this case. So what it should do is update any contact that isn't currently owned by David Rose. The problem is it's a little tricky to test in the debugger when you're changing the owner of a record. 
So we'll do it this way first, and then we'll turn it on and, and we'll test it again. But here we can see we've got an update record step here that was successful. And it looks like it did change the owner of that contact from one value to another. So go ahead and click activate and let's make sure that this is working as we'd expect. We can see here, Tina Hello is owned by Road of Support. Let's change this owner from David Rose to B2BMA integration and click change owner. Now, normally Tina Hello would still be owned by Road of Support. But here we can see that that's not the case. It's actually been updated to match the owner of the account. And the other contacts, those got updated just fine as well, but that's standard functionality. So there's an example of a simple flow that can really save you a lot of headaches in the system if you don't like a way uh, standard functionality works in Salesforce. So whenever you change the account owner on an account, now all of the contacts related to that account will be updated as well, not just the contacts that were owned by the previous owner. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit like and click subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.